Hello and welcome to the tutorial video on using the ESET MSP Administrator or EMA. My name is Kevin Reynolds and I am a Partner Enablement Engineer for the MSP practice for ESET North America. This video will demonstrate how to use the EMA portal to provision and manage licensing for your customers and synchronize licenses to your ERA management server. So we'll begin by accessing the site at EMA ESET.com. Once we get logged in, we'll see three tabs over on the left, Dashboard, Sites, and Users. The dashboard provides us with a graphical representation of all of our seat count across all the different products, and it also gives us a daily sum. <coughs> now, the MSP's daily seat cost is actually determined per product. We aggregate your seat count across all of your customers for each product, which is what determines your pricing tier. Now, for Windows client operating systems, we actually have two different products, ESET Endpoint Antivirus and ESET Endpoint Security. So it makes sense to standardize on a single Windows client product. Now, our ESET Endpoint Security has a couple of features that ESET Endpoint Antivirus does not. ESET Endpoint Security includes a personal firewall module, which also includes network attack protection and botnet protection. In addition, it also includes a web control module. And with this, we are, allowed to, we are able to go in and block URLs at the endpoint or block categories and groups. So <clears throat> if you have customers that have web content filtering requirements for compliance purposes, or mobile workforce that need firewall or content filtering while traveling, then you'll probably want to standardize on ESET endpoint security. As you can see, it's broken out depending upon the number of licenses that you have. So in our test site, we have 662 endpoint antivirus and 4,655 endpoint security. So for endpoint antivirus, that puts us into a pricing tier of three and a half cents per seat per day. But since we've got so many more endpoint security, that also puts us in a pricing tier of three and a half seats, uh, three and a half cents per seat per day. So you can see that by standardizing, you can ultimately offer better protection to your customers at the same price or better while still maintaining your own margin. Now, the Sites tab is where we will configure each MSP customer that we are creating. So we've already got MSP customer 01. Let's see now we are taking on MSP customer 02. The Licenses section is pretty self-explanatory. We're simply going to go in and pick the product that we need and the quantity of licenses that we're going to be deploying. The ESET License Administrator, the Security Administrator, is how the ESET Remote Administrator, or ERA Management Server, synchronizes the licenses with the EMA. So for each new site you create, assign the same security admin credentials to the site. Now, since I've already got MSP customer 01, I'm going to go in and add the existing credentials that I've configured for that. Now, since you're an MSP, you're billed for your daily seat usage, and you can turn up or down the seat count as necessary on any given day throughout the month. Modification of the product type or quantity will synchronize with your ERA management server, and so again, this can be performed as an administrative function as well. Now, as an MSP, if you have a customer that wishes to manage their own ERA server, but wants to buy the ESET licenses from you as a monthly service, 
you'll perform the same process except for one step. In here, you will configure the standalone customer and whatever number of licenses that they need. Here, you will create a new security admin. and you will give them their own credentials. Upon hitting Add, that customer has now been licensed, and you can simply give the security admin credentials that you created for them to them. That's how they will license their ERA server. Now, you'd want to do this because those seats also go towards your aggregate seat count and help to increase your or decrease your uh, daily seat cost across the entire board. Now, if we jump over into the Users tab, this is where, <coughs> excuse me, this is where you will actually configure other technical or administrative users' credentials to access EMA. Now, you can give them read access or total administrative access. So, if they just need reporting purposes, you can give them read access, but you can also grant them the ability to manage licenses. Now, since EMA automatically syncs with the management server, License management can again be handled by one or several technicians or can also be delegated to your account managers or a member of the administrative or accounting team. And once we jump back over into ERA under the admin toolbox and license management, you will click on add licenses and then enter the security admin that you just created in the EMA portal. Now you can see that I've already added that ESET administrator here. So going forward, any time changes are made, all that needs to happen is for me to come in and hit the Synchronize Licenses button. And you will see that it will automatically synchronize and recognize that I've got Customer 02 now configured with licenses, and also that I've decreased the seat count of Customer 01. And that is all for the demonstration on using the MSP administrative portal. Thank you and have a great day.